I remember this place. Yes, this is my old school. And that book, I remember that book. I used to spend hours reading books as a child. Yes, and it's Christmas Eve, but you're the only one left here. Yes, I, I remember. My father did not want me at home. Ebenezer! Ebenezer! Sisters, what are you doing here? Father shall be cross. Oh, how mischievous! My well, father shall not be cross. He wants you to come home. He said he had to bring you home. I don't know how kindly he will take me. Oh, but you don't want you back. Please, Ebenezer, come home. Oh! My book! Sorry, sisters. My sister, she was so frail, but she had such a big heart. Yes, and she died giving birth to a nephew, Fred. Yes, I, I remember. She made me promise to take care of him after she died. Sometimes I feel that I've broken that vow. It is not too late. Come now, let us go. <laughs> in a Christmas party. Oh, the Fezziwigs, they knew how to throw such great parties. Yes, and this time for life was a very happy one. Yes, indeed it was. Good dance, good dance. A wonderful Christmas party indeed. Time to celebrate with good friends and family. What a wonderful time of year. You look beautiful, my dearest Mrs. Fezziwig. Oh, thank you. Well done, my love. A fine party indeed. Beautiful dresses, delicious food, wonderful dancing. A fine party indeed. And of course, a wonderful audience. My dearest, I... Yes, Ebenezer, what is it? I have some very exciting news. I've just been offered a very good job in London that I tend to accept. But I thought that we had decided to stay here and that you would work for Mr. Fezziwig. You don't understand. Think of the money I can make by accepting this job. It seems like this money's taking my place. It seems like it's just more important than our love. Money? <laughs> what's, what's more important than money? She was greatly hurt by your actions. Yes. Yes. She ended up marrying my best friend, Richard. Spirit, take me away from this place. Very well, then, but do not forget the things that you have seen. Well, 